March is Women's History Month, when we celebrate the important contributions of women to the advancements of our society and our communities. Here at Elizabeth Public Schools, we have six women board members who have been exceptional in serving our school community and greater Elizabeth community. They made history in forming the first ever woman majority Elizabeth Board of Education. And through their leadership, we have helped guide Elizabeth Public Schools to achieve excellence. In celebration of Women's History Month, let's find out more about these outstanding women and the women who inspired them with some questions from Elizabeth Public Schools students. Why is it important to serve your community? For me, it's important to serve my community because I'm part to the process, to all the decisions to affect in the future to the people to I really care, to include my friends, neighbors, and the people to our part to our beautiful community, including our students. As Maya Angelou said, I come as one, but I stand as 10,000. And for me, I feel that there were so many women who have come before me who have served their community and have given back that I feel that I, as a young individual, should do the same for our community. And that's why I love to serve my community. Serving my community is probably one of the most important things in my life. Sometimes just doing one good act is serving your community. Because if you can make a difference in one person's life, you don't know how you've changed their life and that is important and community is important. For me it's important to serve my community, support and give you advice. When we set up our community, we build a great city, a great community and a great world. A refreshing feeling transpires through your whole body when you help those um, in your community. Serving my community has taken me to another level. Helping those in need is exactly what we, we were put here on this earth to do. So being born and raised in Elizabeth and walking our school halls of Elizabeth as a student and now as a board member has been also rewarding. I am now able to be the voice of the students, of the parents, of the staff, and of community members. One major goal of school board members that we serve is to make sure that each and every single one of our students are receiving the best and proper education that each and every single one of them deserve. What woman or women have had the most influence on your service? The woman who has had the most influence on my service has been my mom. Over the last few years, my mother and I have got grown very close. She has been the one who has inspired me to give back to my community, to give back to my church family, and to always do the right thing when I'm communicating with friends and family. The women who have been most influential to me on my service has been the women of Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated. My sorority sister, spiritual mother, and mentor, Sora Billy Bailey, has been an influential person to show me how to serve and to be that great example to me. There's such special women. Number one, my mother. She brought me up, she loved me, she did everything she could to help me reach all the possibilities I can. And of course, Mother Teresa. Her acts of kindness completed her, and that's so inspiring to me. There's been many women. Like many of us, it's been our mom, our guardians, our family members, greatest of friends, neighbors, phenomenal teachers, school administrators, support staff. Each one of them that I just mentioned have had a positive um, role and impact on my life to shape me to become the woman that I am today. So I had too many women, so I want to mention it including family members to push in me to be better every day and do my best for others. But during my service, I can say to students, teachers, and all women's staff, inspire me to be a better person and continue serving and advocate for our school district. My grandmother was a woman who always supported her community, collecting food, shelter, provide services, doing different kind of activities during the, during the holidays. My grandmother was the person who teach me to support my community. As a little girl, definitely my grandmother and my mom. As, um, as I got older, I believe that it was my teachers. God, my soccer coach, my basketball coach, my volleyball coach. You, you have trailblazers, and in my life it has been Assemblywoman Quijano and Patricia, Councilwoman Patricia Perkins Augusti. There's been a lot of women in my life and I've been blessed to have them and um, I thank them all. What message or lesson will you share with the young girls on the Alyssa Public Schools community and beyond? 
please believe in yourself and all that you are. Please believe that you have something inside of you that is greater and much greater than any kind of impact on a life that you're gonna have in the future. Always be a tomorrow. You sometimes feel to today is the last day, but always you will have the opportunity. Continue working hard, be strong, and don't allow nobody to put you down. You are a woman, you are strong, and you represent us. I think the most important thing that I could tell all the little girls and all the big girls out there is to respect yourself. Know your self-worth and want more and don't let anyone stand in your way. It's okay to be yourself. It's okay to learn from your mistakes because the best person that you can learn from is you. I want you ladies to continue to strive for excellence, strive to be the best person that you can be, and know that nothing is impossible, but the word itself says I'm possible. Dream and no one can let you know you can do it. You will do it. Don't focus on your limitations, but your possibilities and abilities. Life will throw you obstacles and difficult tasks. You will fall, but use that fire strength inside of you and get up because you're woman strong. As we continue to celebrate Women's History Month, we thank our women board members for their service to our community and women everywhere who continue to encourage us. Guide us. Motivate us. Lead us. Inspire us. To be the best we can be. And to achieve our dreams. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.